do you feel a responsibility in being a jury member? And if yes, what kind of responsibility? Uh, absolutely. I feel yeah. a responsibility to engage with the films on their own terms and to take all of my viewing really seriously. Um, I think that's the best we could all strive to do in this situation and, and try to evaluate them uh, fairly and listen to everyone's perspective on them. Mm -hmm. what, what kind of like background do you bring to this 10-day job, basically? What, what are... Uh, well, I'm a trained film archivist, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. I um, have a master's in film archiving and preservation, and that's my job um, in Los Angeles. And um, I, so I run the Outfest UCLA Legacy Project, which mm -hmm. is a program in LGBT film archiving and preservation. And I'm also working on my PhD in cinema and media studies, so I'm a film scholar, essentially, mm -hmm. too. So I've watched some movies. So do you think you watch them really academically, or is it also that you, that you bring some emotion to it? Although I it doesn't exclude each other, I know, but Right, I'm yeah, no, I try to strike a balance. Mm. Uh, it's hard, though. Like, I've, I've been training myself to do this for a, a lot of years at this point, so uh, I try to be critical in a academic sense or like a criticism generally sense and then also think about the story and whether or not I was engaged and how it was impactful and etc. Mm -hmm. What like potential does this this award um, have for you or like what statements can you make as a jury in your opinion? Interesting question. Um, I think it's a really exciting opportunity to find new queer stories that we haven't seen before. Um, we're in a time where we fortunately get to see a lot of queer stories on the screen, not as many as perhaps we should, uh, but a lot. And so we've seen a lot and stories are getting more sophisticated and telling us about parts of queer life that we haven't seen before. And I think it's exciting to, um, to think about how that could impact future stories that are told essentially. And, and do you think like this award is a, like a like a statement? And what, it certainly can, can be. I mean, in yeah. the pa there have been examples of, of Teddy honorees in the past that have made waves. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've only seen two films so far. I don't know if if that'll happen this year, mm -hmm. uh, but it would be great. Mm -hmm. And how do you think you will balance like your own personal perspectives on films and you know, like your reception of it, and then you know being in a group and sort of. Just you know, finding that balance between the group dynamic and your personal yeah. opinion. Like, what? How do you envision that? Well, so far, everyone seems uh, pretty down to earth, pretty grounded. <laughs> I think we'll have some perhaps uh, heated, maybe we'll see discussions, but I think we'll all be able to maintain civility. So, and everyone has an amazing, totally unique perspective. Our jury is coming from all over the world, um, from all sorts of different backgrounds and areas of expertise and I think that probably hearing what everyone else thinks about the films is going to impact our own thoughts on them mm -hmm. in interesting ways at least I hope mm -hmm. so how, how do you like if you just like freely dream about the future and everything how do you envision queer film mm -hmm. like as a personal question like where do you because you, you earlier said that like things have opened up and there could be more for sure. Mm -hmm. But what are what are like the for you like kind of the most important things? I am a person who is uh, oh sorry to change. Well, to change or just like to to just like even to dream more like what would come to mind in your? Uh, I think getting back to using the progress that has happened within queer cinema to allow space to maybe return for a little bit more experimentation. There have been the periods in queer cinema where things have been very experimental when uh, queer people were more on the margins and sort of that was part, experimentation was part of everyday life. And now that we've been a little bit more assimilated and stories have been told, that's in my view fading a little and I would love to see more of that. I would love to see a fresh new energy um, that uses the access and the larger audience to push formal uh, and narrative boundaries, I guess. Mm -hmm.